It was just coming on to demonstrate really quickly how to create this overlap effect using both the Margot Serif and the Margot Script fonts. So to create this weaving effect, we're going to use layer masks in Photoshop. So I'm actually just going to delete these really quickly. So we've got our two fonts set on top of each other. We have the serif beneath, and I actually have three layers of that just because of my layer settings. So I have those all ready to go, and then I have my script layer set right on top. So what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here and click this layer mask tool with my script layer selected. And what that's going to do is create a layer mask that we can use to uh, kind of erase parts of the script without actually erasing them. So anytime you use the brush tool with your layer mask selected, if you go over in black, it gets rid of what's there. And if you go over in white, it'll make it reappear. So a layer mask is really a more convenient way of erasing so that if you make any kind of mistakes, you can go back. You don't have to worry about recreating what you've done if you're erasing actual um, actual data. So using our layer mask, we're going to have it selected. And I'm going to come down to my uh, Margot Serif layer. I'm not going to select it, but I'm going to hold Command and click that T. And that's going to highlight the serif layer for me. So with my layer mask selected on my script layer, all I'm going to do is switch my color to black and have my uh, brush tool selected here. And I'm going to kind of go in and figure out where I want the overlap to happen. So I can do it there and being careful not to erase other parts of the layer. And I actually, my shortcut that I'm using to switch colors is just X on your keyboard. So you can kind of play around with the overlap to see what works best. Um, and the great thing about layer masks is that if you end up doing something that you don't like, like this, you can just switch your color back to white and go back over it. And it's like it never happened. So I'm going to keep going through here. Get out of there and we'll deselect to see how we like it. So it looks okay. Um, I think I want this to come up in front. So again, with my layer mask selected, I'm going to switch to white and just undo that. Um, I even think it might look better if I do this one. So I'm going to select my, my serif layer again and keep revising until I like what I see. But yeah, uh, layer masks are really amazing. They're really simple to use once you get the hang of them and they're a really, really incredible tool. So I'm actually real quick because I'm a little bit crazy. I'm just going to cut out this G here. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So that's how you use layer masks to create an interweaving effect. Again, you can edit and revise and try and, and do new things with it until it looks exactly how you want it to. Um, and if you end up not liking it at all, you can always right click on your layer mask and disable it and it'll take it back to where it was. So yeah.